How's it going everyone and happy Easter. Now the pH of your soil is a lot more important than you think because not only does it have an impact on the health of your soil by the microorganisms that break down the organic matter in your soil and makes those nutrients available for your plants to uptake, not only does it affect that but it also has a direct impact on how available those nutrients are for your plants, your fruits and veggies to uptake and use for growth. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys, showing you guys how you can do a pH test yourself at home, the, um, how to correct any soil pHs, whether you wanna increase or lower your soil pH, and also some of the effects that extreme pH ranges can have on your plants. Now the pH that you want to aim for is in between the range of 6.5 to 7.5 as most vegetables like having a neutral soil. So in terms of doing tests at home, I like to use these actual pH um, kits. So these require, these um, work by having different chemical reactions that take place and I find these are a lot more reliable and accurate compared to pH probe meters that you can just stick into the ground. So. I love using these and I would recommend these. Um, by the way, I'll leave the um, links of the different products that I use or recommend in the description below if you want to suss it out at all. And also just a little disclaimer, um, this video isn't um, sponsored or anything by the brands that I use. These are just my personal preferences that I, uh, that I like and also what's available to me. So for these type of kits, there's going to be sort of two different um, so sort of products or bottles in there. Uh, one of them is a pH universal indicator dye. The other one is barium sulfate. So I won't really explain what each of them do, uh, but otherwise then there is also your little indicator chart. Now, to actually do the pH test, what you wanna do is move away any mulch or anything that you have on top of the soil, and you wanna dig down a bit where the roots will be. So then you just wanna grab a really little pinch of soil, like it's a lot smaller than you think and sort of put it on like on like that so you only need a very small amount about the size of like your small pinky finger now then you want to get your ph dye indicator and add one drop so you don't need a lot i know some people add a lot but you really don't need to if you miss like i did you can just sort of spread it around a little bit and then you want, so you get your barium sulfate. I like to give it a shake. And you really want to get as fine of a powder as you can. So I usually put it on a bit of an angle and keep it 10 centimeters or about four inches away and just lightly dust it on. Now you don't need to smother it. You just need to lightly dust it on. And straight away, you'll see a color. So this is indicating green, which indicates a pH of around six to six and a half, but you want to wait for two and a half or sorry, two, about two to three minutes um, and let the reaction take place and then you'll be able to actually see what the proper color is. Okay, so on the other corner of this little plastic plate, I did one that about five minutes ago. It's had plenty of time to finish its reaction. So I'll bring it up close for you guys. So that is the color of it there. So that is indicating that it's probably at a pH of maybe seven and a half, between probably seven and a half and eight. Um, now this is probably a little higher than I would prefer, but I can easily fix that. It's just because it's still in between, it's got a, that purple, but it's still got a little bit of a greeny tinge. So it might even be seven, but it's probably about seven and a half. So now that I know my pH, I can easily correct it. Now when it comes to correcting your soil pH, it's super simple. So basically, if your pH is too high and you need to lower it or make it more acidic, then all you have to do is add some sulfur. Now this is very, very simple to do, to do and apply, and it works quite slowly, uh, generally at least two weeks before you notice a change because it requires microbes to break it down before it can actually do its thing. Now you will be able to find this at most garden centers and it's really, really easy, really commonly stocked, but I'll still leave a link in the description if, you're, if you wanna suss it out. Now, the other thing, if you want to correct your soil, is if it's too low and you need to increase the pH or make it more alkaline, then all you have to do is apply some dolomite or lime. Now, this is a calcium carbonate um, sort of product, and this is in its own nature, in its rare form, it's already alkaline. So basically, by applying that, um, you're increasing the soil pH, and it is very quick 
it's very quick um, to notice. So within a day or two, you should start to see the differences in your soil pH. So again, that is very, very commonly um, stocked in all sorts of garden centers or hardware centers. So you should be able to quite easily find it, but I'll still leave a link in the description below if you want to suss that out. Now it's really important to make sure that your soil pH doesn't go into extreme ranges because this will have a severe impact upon the health of your plants. Mainly because certain nutrients will become locked up so the pH actually affects how available those nutrients are for the uh, roots of your plants to use them um, and form fruit and form food for you. So this will have a serious impact if your pH, uh, soil pH goes into extreme ranges. Now. If your pH goes way too high and is strongly alkaline, which is anything above 8.5, it will cause most nutrients to become unavailable to your plant roots. So this includes nitrogen, phosphorus, uh, zinc, copper, and iron, just to name a few. And particularly nitrogen and phosphorus, they're known as two out of the big, the main three nutrients. So it's really important to make sure that your pH doesn't go too high. Likewise, if your pH is strongly acidic, which is anything less than 5.5, uh, this will cause a couple of nutrients um, to become unavailable, but mainly it will cause um, aluminium toxicity. Now, aluminium is very toxic to plants and it becomes highly available um, for plant uptake when your soil is very acidic. So, to, to prevent this, make sure that your um, soil doesn't get too acidic or anything below 5.5 unless the specific plant requires it, such as blueberries, for example. This way, it'll prevent any um, severe health impacts or even death caused by aluminium toxicity. So there you go guys, I hope that gives you a bit of a better understanding as to why it is so important to look after your soil pH. Now if you like that then please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to share it with your friends and families. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions or questions about soil pH or anything to do with growing your own food, leave it down in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you want to see more videos like that, then make sure you subscribe. And you can do that by either clicking on my face that will be popping up on the screen shortly or you can click on the subscribe um, button below and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you will get a notification and an alert every time I put up a new video and you can be one of the first to see it. So I hope you guys got something out of that and I hope you're all having a great week and your gardens are booming with growth and I will catch you all next video. Cheers guys and have a happy Easter.